Hey, welcome back to another video from the Cash Credit guys. Of course, another New World video, of obviously. Um, so, pretty much, I know you you knew you read that title, talking about old school RuneScape. Um, you know, it says versus New World. It's not so much versus necessarily. Um, it's more of comparing the two games, and the reason why I'm saying that I quit. Um, it's actually just like a little fun fact is because I do play old school RuneScape and I remember just recently when I started playing New World, um, you know, I ended up telling um, the clan that I'm in um, that's actually ran by my brother um, that I'm actually taking like a little break from it. The reason why I'm taking a break is so that way I can play New World, really learn the ins and outs of New World as a whole and I don't want to keep flipping between both games because as as this point with old school runescape i already have a really really big understanding of the game and you know know the ins and outs and, and the ropes right still a lot to learn with mmos regardless but i've been playing that game forever for context i've been playing it since like middle school obviously it took like about five years six years off um and then just recently got back back into it uh last year and you know still played up until this day still currently play up until this date so that being said you will be seeing me questing here, but really this is just in a comparison uh, regarding old school RuneScape, to say the least. Now, those of you probably thinking, what the hell is old school RuneScape? Uh, for many of you, you may not know what the game is. I would say probably for the newer generation. For many of you that, you know, were maybe 90s babies, such as I... 80s babies you know you probably do know exactly what old school runescape is and then other views other views i've probably heard of the game um and seen it and we're probably like what the hell is this kid playing or why are you playing the game right it just looks like a dumb pixelated kind of mmo um really nerdy game and you know that's that's a lot of what people think of it as well so that's a little background story about old school RuneScape, right? And it pretty much really, really kicked off with this most, the the version itself. And I'm not talking about RuneScape 3, so just keep that in mind, guys, right? There's RuneScape 3, which is a more modern version, which actually kind of looks like New World a little bit. The graphics still aren't to par, um, but it, it's more of like World of Warcraft, and it's more pay to win, if anything. Um, so we're talking about old school RuneScape, the 2007 version. So that's what I'm talking about, the pixelated, the good old pixelated old school RuneScape game that everyone knew and loved. Um, and obviously with the certain plugins such as RuneLite, you know, the graphics do get enchanced, uh, well enhanced as well. Oh, hello. So, here we are completing this quest. So I'm going to break it down, right? I'm going to pretty much talk about the questing compared from old school RuneScape to uh, New World. And then I'm going to go over to Skillin. Then we're also going to go ahead and go over about the XP game gaining progression as well and the differences between the two games the community with the economy and also the, the navigation within the whole map as a whole between both games and ultimately the end game as well so that's really what i want to go over with you um and everyone's wondering and i'm sure some people maybe the people that i played old school runescape with right obviously the title did i quit old school runescape well tune in and find out at the end of the video um and like I said, it's your boy the Cash Critic. Drop a follow, subscribe, like the video, and let me know if you're enjoying the content as well. And let me know if you ever even played Old School RuneScape or something you're currently playing or maybe you just don't know what you want to get into yourself. And, you know, maybe this help, this this game will shine some light on, on New World as a whole, but also not just New World as a whole, maybe shine some light on even Old School RuneScape or just different MMOs that you're looking to get into as well. So... That being said, let's go ahead and, first of all, this is, I'm trying to look for a quest right now. I don't want to do the one that I'm currently looking in. So main story quest, we're going to go back over to, um, over here. So let me find a fast travel spot and I'll get into fast traveling for many of you, many of you that don't actually play the game. Um, I'll get into fast traveling and let you know what exactly fast traveling means. So, let's go to this fast travel spot. Hopefully I don't die on the way there. Um, and I guess really, right, this could really lead to our navigation kind of portion. But like I said, I'm going to start with questing first because obviously 
that's what I'm doing. All right, so questing, right? So old school RuneScape questing, here we go. Level 31, guys. Obviously, my main build is primarily focused on strength and constitution, right? And you can really just see this overall. Um, dexterity as well is a huge one for me, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead, of course, and just use those points for dexterity as a whole. And now you can see, because I leveled it up past 50, I get 10% chance to critical hit and 10% skinning speed. Um, and it really primarily focuses, right, on like the bows, the muskets, the rapier, the spears, um, and all that kind of stuff. So you can see the attributes here as well. Anyways, back to quests. So, if any of you have ever played old school RuneScape, and I'm just going to get this right off the bat, and maybe you'll start seeing a trend of what I talk to, and you'll really see a difference between... Um, New World and Old School RuneScape. Old School RuneScape is a grind. No matter what kind of way you're playing the game, no matter what you're trying to do in the game, um, it's really, really ultimately a grind, grindy game. Very, very grindy. Um, and there's no way around that. Like, you really have to spend hours on end, maybe days on end, just to level up maybe like two to three levels, maybe four levels. But that's more towards when you're like mid-level in the game as well. But we'll get into that. So questing itself, old school RuneScape, the questing within that game itself is, it's actually really, it's actually really intuitive. And the reason why I say intuitive is because it actually forces you to really go ahead and utilize all the tools and all the skills within the game in order to actually progress within the game as a whole, right? Um, so that's one main thing I definitely want to give props to Old School RuneScape that it makes you do. And that's a huge difference that I noticed as well between Old School RuneScape and also between New World. So a huge difference that I noticed right off the bat is, you know, I just recently started playing New World. I would say at this point, maybe three and a half weeks ago, we're probably almost reaching, reaching one month, um, is the fact that Old School RuneScape, when you do a quest... It requires you to meet certain uh, prerequisites. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, guys. You can correct me in the comments. That's totally fine. Um, but it makes you, you know, actually do certain tasks beforehand before you can even complete the quest. Let's say, for example, right, you're completing a quest right now. Let's say the, the, the quest itself is called XYZ. In order for you to actually go ahead and get that quest done, you need maybe 50 wood cutting, 50 herb lore, you also need two previous quests prior to starting it, and you also need to be maybe a level 50 uh, combat level as well to start it too. So that's also something as well. Now in New World, that's where it differs. And for me personally, that's really where it differs. So um, in New World, you know, you guys can correct me as I'm wrong, but as of right now, I've yet to actually see this. And the real big thing here is the fact that... Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to look for a main quest, not necessarily where I'm currently at, um, but in this area here. So we'll fast travel here. Perfect. So that's one of the main things I noticed right off the bat is New World really, you kind of quest very easily, and, there, and it guides you on what to do, and it tells you where to go. Um, and I haven't really seen any kind of quest, at least up until this point. I know I'm only a level 31, right? We're not a level 60, which is the cap. But I have yet to see a quest where it tells you, hey, like, you need to maybe get a level 20 sk skill of logging. Uh, you need a level, uh, you know, 30, whatever the case may be of smelting um, or whatever the case, right? So the really, really the big thing that I noticed myself is really just the fact that you just need to be a certain level overall and at that point you can complete the quest like you don't need it's not really skill specific that's what I'm, i guess what i'm trying to say um not only that but it's also very easy to complete the quest as long as you have the right builds right and as long as you have the right materials and the right actual armor pieces i guess you could say as well um because in old school RuneScape, they give you a log, I guess you could say, and it tells you what steps needs to be completed, and it also has a, a cross list, right? And keep in mind, right, old school RuneScape is a super, super old game, 
But the thing is, they're still constantly updating it. Um, not necessarily the quests themselves, they're constantly updating. They kind of keep that the same, but like more of like community kind of events is what they're updating, and more armor sets and etc. But the quests themselves, um, look at that. Like I just completed a super easy quest. Like as you can see here, literally it tells you exactly what to do. Accept the quest. It shows you literally where to go. Right, 19 meters this way. And I'm guessing I'm probably just have to check in with someone. Check in on the innkeep. Right. We go ahead. Check in. Guest registration. Yes, and now we're completing the quest. Um, well, now we have to go talk to Grace now that we checked in. Oh, sorry, on the other side of the actual inn itself. Talk to Grace right here. See the arrow with the green. Complete the quest. Now we get a bag of coins, which is awesome, right? Which is cool. So it's super easy re uh, in New World regarding quest to really go ahead and um, complete them and figure out exactly what to do and exactly what you are going to be doing next and um, it really just provides that ultimate guide without having to really necessarily use a wiki I guess you could say now that being said in old school runescape like I was stating previously there's no there, so there is a wiki and you know I I'm gonna have to tell you if you're doing a quest you're ultimately going to use the wiki or you're going to use a guide on YouTube that you found online in order to complete that quest for the most part um, almost every quest is extremely hard to actually go ahead and complete without following any kind of guide, to be honest, unfortunately. But, um, oh, let's go ahead and open this, actually. So I didn't even notice I had it. Oh, that's pretty nice. So that's actually good. We'll open the coins. Okay, looks like it's not opening for me for some reason. So let's open that again. Oh, so I guess it did open up for me. So new shield, new shield alert, that's cool. I'm just gonna keep those there for now. Um, and let me actually, now that we're here, I'm actually just gonna store away some of the smelt in to like, take off some weight off me. Actually, I'm just gonna store everything, realistically, because I'm just kind of focused. Except for that, the cooking's gonna go, fishing's gonna go, crafting mods, uh, resource, excuse me, resources, stone cutting, arcana, furniture, okay, perfect. And the good thing about the storage is, right, you have each of your different kind of um, areas that you've already visited and you can store them and switch between each one it doesn't really matter but um that being said old school runescape it's, it's a lot more difficult like i said and be prepared be prepared to actually go ahead and take your time in order to freaking complete those quests because realistically ultimately if a quest says it takes 15 minutes on the guide add an extra 20 minutes to it add an extra 15 minutes to it and forget it. If a quest says it's about an hour long, because there are certain quests that are an hour, two hours long, actually, and those are the very, very long ones, add an extra two hours to it. It will take you that long, right? Um, and that's the thing. Like, you really do feel the accomplishment after getting it done, which is good. But also, um, it's a really, really gr big, big grind to it, and it's a hassle. So just be prepared to spend time if you're actually looking forward to actually complete a quest itself. Not only do um, quests, you know, play a big factor into old school RuneScape as well as to New World, right? They each have their differences. So there's side quests in New World. There's the um, the town boards in New World, right? There's the community itself, right? You have your your actual uh, company where you can complete stuff with. You have your faction. Um, you have your faction kind of quest too that you can complete specifically for the faction that you select. So there's that as well. And then ultimately in old school RuneScape, right, you have your favors, you have diaries, which are aside from the main quests, um, but also different kind of side quests, I guess you could say at that point to complete and gain different kind of rewards and different kind of perks to unlock certain kind of um, areas within the map to say, and easier ways to actually travel and navigate through the map as well too with doing these favors or doing these diaries to really help you progress within the game. So there's that. So that's Questin. Questin. Questin itself is completely different ball game. I would say personally, I really like the um, the questing here in New Worlds because it's very just straightforward and really goes ahead and, and just tells you what to do, right? I don't want to spend, unfortunately, and you know I can't speak for everyone. Unfortunately, I I'm not someone that actually likes to spend hours on end just to complete a quest, right? Like um, I know at that point in New World, and I haven't really looked at the wiki regarding how long 
a quest could be when we come more towards the end game. But even if it's a quest for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, even an hour, that's fine with me. But there's certain quests over in, in RuneScape that are just extremely, extremely difficult. Um, and also ultimately just, you know, could take four or five hours of your day. There's been quests where I've done like two hours and, you know, got back to it the next day and then didn't finish that day either. Got took me like a total of three days at one point, right? So it's it's stressful. But obviously I guess at the end of the day the reward of feeling like it's completed really does bring some joy to you. So that's question. Let me know what you guys think about the question. If you guys played old school RuneScape and you know your kind of preference regarding that kind of whole realm itself too. So um, on to the next one is skilling. Old school RuneScape, obviously, like I said, has been around for a long time. So they they have been able to actually go ahead and add certain skills, a lot of skills, a lot more skills than New World, right? New World has only been out for one year, a year and a couple months, I would say, or a year and one month, actually. And Old School RuneScape has been out for maybe, I think, more than 10 years at this point, right? 2017. So almost um, at that point, like 14, 15 years. That being said... RuneScape is free to play up to a certain extent. After that, you do ultimately, you're going to want to pay a membership, like a monthly membership, a yearly membership, in order to actually go ahead and progress through the game and really get the full factor of the game. And it's cheap, right? It's really nothing crazy. It's about um, $10. I, I believe, like, you can buy, like, 14-day memberships, which is about, like, six ninety nine, or I believe seven ninety nine now, which is $8.00. With tax and then you know you have a monthly membership that you can sign up for yearly membership but that unlocks all the skills for you i guess you could say so first things first right the actual um skilling in old school runescape there's a lot i think there's 23 in total i'm just going to go over them with you quickly so you have attack you have your strength you have your defense right those are combat ones specified as you can see ranged and magic right these are all separate skills though that you train individually now you have prayer, you have rune crafting, you have your hit points, uh, which is your health. You have crafting itself, mining, smithing, fishing, cooking, fire making, wood cutting. Now those are all the actual skills that are free to play that you don't actually have to pay for. And then your only your member only skills are really well. Once you become a member, you unlock these additional skills: is agility, herbalore, thieving, fletching, slayer, farming, construction, and hunter. Right, so in total, um, that's eight member skills with the combined um, 15 skills that's free to play. That's ultimately at that point, right, a total of 23 skills. So um, it's a lot. It's a lot to work for. It's a lot of grinding, um, but it is also fun. And the the reward, the sense of reward that you get when you actually achieve a level in old school RuneScape is phenomenal, right? Um, I think just as of recently, and you can see here, there's some similarities with the actual skills themselves in New World compared to Old School RuneScape. Like, as you can see, in New World, they're called trade skills, which I'm showing on my screen right now, right? So you have weaponsmithing, armoring, engineering, jewel crafting, arcana, cooking, furnishing, music, which I have a zero on, don't disrespect. Also, jewel crafting, I have a zero, don't disrespect. Mining, logging, right? Also, like, wood cutting. Leatherworking, woodworking, smelting, weaving, stone cutting, harvesting, tracking, and skinning, right? So a lot less skills, right? Um, and obviously you can see some blank squares here. I'm not going to be surprised as they already announced. They're adding more skills down the line as well with the new updates for according to the devs, which is going to be awesome because I'm a huge skiller. I love skilling. Um, obviously, I'm you know working right now to improve my overall level with the game. So I haven't been focusing too much on it. Um, and surprisingly enough, my fiction is actually my highest level, which is something that I don't really try to focus on so much, apparently. But I'm there at 75. And the difference with Old School RuneScape with the skill and the, the cap is 99 everything, right? So you can get 99 attack, you get 99 wood cutting, you can get 99 thieving, whatever the case may be. In New World, the cap is 200. So you get 200 smelting, 200 water working, right? You get 200 weaponsmithing, 200 logging, 200 mining. So that's that's the cap here. And I haven't, and I just recently, I guess you could say, with fishing itself, started to see like more of a grind to level up, um, with hitting around seven, level 75 fishing. But it's still very very easy to obtain these levels. And, um, 
I think that's the difference for me right now is where I don't really necessarily feel like a big sense of accomplishment, I guess you could say, when I do level up regarding a skill specifically, um, because it's really fairly, really easy to actually level these skills up. Like I can probably realistically spend one whole day, let's say on just mining and maybe reach around like 120, 125 um, for a level, I guess. But when it comes to, oh, I don't know where he just went. There we go. But when it comes to uh, old school RuneScape, right? And it's, I, I gotta say, it is easy when you first start the game, right? I would say probably the first level one through maybe level 50, 60, um, it's fairly easy to get to. But once you hit around 50 and 60, regardless, that's when you really, oh, I didn't even harvest it. Look at that. That's when you really feel like you're, the grind is starting to go. So um, around then, as for like my old school RuneScape account, um, my base levels almost on everything is around 70s and 80s at this point. And more so 70s, low, low 80s on certain ones, uh, but more so mid 70s. But at that point, it's really just like, let's say I'm woodcutting that in let's say I'm a level 70 it's gonna take me probably an hour to two hours just to level up one time whereas compared to new world if I'm a level 70 wood cutting it would probably realistically only take me maybe like 15 20 minutes maybe even less maybe just 10 minutes right actually I don't I'm not I'm totally kidding even less than that right like you level up so fast in this game it's ridiculous and the fact that the only thing that really like irked me a little bit was with the dev update saying how they're trying to make it easier to go ahead and um, what am I supposed to do here guys collect harvested vegetables from chess there's no chess here right desperate messages okay was that one? I don't know I don't see anything here but that's alright we'll go to the other one just in case um, so that's really, that's really a big thing for me is the skilling. So I like how, you know, obviously new world still being kind of like a new game, no pun intended, but, um, a new world as a whole. Right. So obviously they're still adding stuff. They're still developing stuff, but, um, and I guess that kind of falls into like my XP gaining progression within the game as a whole, right. Is really just, um, am I supposed to talk to this guy? I don't think so, right? Yeah, I know. So I'm gonna go to this one first because clearly for some reason nothing's happening at that spot. But um, the different kind of skills, there's a ton. There's a lot more to do in Old School RuneScape to say the least regarding skilling. Um, but they all each have their pros and cons with New World and just Old School RuneScape. So um, obviously New World has a ways to go. They will be adding a lot more. But either way, all the skills are fun and they keep you really, you know, um, engaged with the game too which I guess you could say goes into that new skill and progression the next topic of conversation now there's a ton of ways to progress within the game between both realistically um, so honestly it's tough but I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the skill progression and like obviously you can hear me stating just from my conversation about what we're talking about and discussing right now this the progression in this game in new world is a lot faster than old school runescape like significantly faster like drastically faster i don't even know how much more i can really emphasize it for you guys but it is so crazy fast that old school runescape feels like an actual turtle compared to this and Obviously, you know, I'm only a level 31 and that's with me trying to figure out the game, not necessarily doing anything, just like looking at the trading posts, looking at the economy itself, exploring, running around, just getting a feel for the world itself, uh, seeing what I can buy, uh, seeing just things what I can do as a whole within the game. So it's a, it's a lot of things that I've been kind of just, you know, working on regardless in the game, which is why I also haven't just been strictly grinding on side quests, quests, and I also just don't want to burn myself out right away either. So there's there's that aspect of it. Um, but the progression, let's start with New World. So there's plenty of ways, right? You can do main story quests, which I'm doing right now. Um, 
you know, collect harvested vegetables from chest. And I don't see anything over here when it comes to the vegetables. So I don't know exactly what they mean, unfortunately. I don't see any chests. Like, am I just going mad? Or is this like another issue that I had last time within my quest previously? Because I don't see anything. But regardless, um, yeah, there's got to be something here, right? I don't see anything here. Not even a chest. But okay. Alrighty. So, there's that. So, I'm going to run around and figure out harvested vegetables from chests and see what the heck I need. Oh, so here's one. Okay. Maybe. Bam. So, three out of five. Okay. So, maybe I just got to go into these buildings. All right. So, now we're figuring out. For some reason, I don't know why it says one over there. But, um, all right. So, obviously, the skill progression. Uh, the XP gaining progression is a lot, lot more different in New World. It's a lot easier, right? You have uh, the main story quests, you have side quests, you have your faction quests, um, questing, 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 really. Um, you also have um, just from killing enemies, right? Just like you can see here, there's there's a lot that you can actually do in order to gain quests. Um, well, XP as a whole, you have standing uh, certain territory quests. Well, certain territory uh, XP that you gain from. So, for example, right, I'm over here uh, in Windward, and literally just from me being in this territory specifically, I can actually gain XP for the longer the uh, a longer amount of time that I'm here. So I could gain XP, right? There's bonuses that you guys you can see here: territory standings, right? Monarch Bluffs, Ever Everward, Windward, which is where I'm currently located, and the longer I'm here. Or the more kind of progression I can actually gain so you will typically see and I wouldn't be surprised if you do see it here as well is that as I quest in here as I explore the area as well as itself um, you will ultimately see like a pop-up come in and now I can ultimately update uh, my map standing and I can upgrade certain kind of progressions in here so that's one way of gaining XP as well right there's I think I already did this one there's also PvP in order to progress, which I have yet to do at all, but it's also just an option that so it is there. Um, there's there's a ton, right? There's dungeons, there's raids, there's I mean raids are coming. There's dungeons. Um, there's there's a lot, and these monsters will just not not leave me alone. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish them off, and bam, thank you. So that's that's uh, and there's a lot more, right? I'm not really gonna go crazy crazy in with it, but regardless of the fact. You level up extremely easy within this game compared to old school RuneScape. That being said, obviously you can go where I'm, you can see where I'm going with this. Old school RuneScape is a grind. I know I keep constantly saying that, but it's true, you know. And people love it. My brother loves it. My friends that play it love it, right? Um, I I love it. You know, I do like it, and I understand. I get tired, and that's one of the reasons why I get tired of the game pretty quickly, is because I literally I'm not the type of person that can game for literally eight seven six hours a day unfortunately i'm a i'm a one hour two hour three hour kind of guy unless it's the weekend right at that point i can go ahead and maybe sometimes game i want to say maybe like five six hours if i'm really really in the mood for it too so there's that aspect of it as well um there we go okay perfect so we have this quest here and these are all these are small quests here so these are these are really fairly easy um so in old school runescape right you have your story quests you have favors that you can do for certain towns almost uh yeah so like for certain towns within the actual map itself you have diaries that you can do which unlocks you know certain kind of aspects to the game that will help you progress easier travel the world easier um you have side missions right so that's that's also another thing you have your combating skills to actually go ahead and skill that as well um to level up too um a lot right so there's pvp there's really anything that you do within that game you are ultimately progressing but like i said it could take hours on end just to level up one time um so just keep that in mind when you actually go to play the game but if that's something that you're looking forward to 
you know, and you really want to stay involved and deep with the game and, you know, you really like that aspect of it, which keeps you involved and keeps players longer to play to achieve goals, obviously I see that as well. Uh, which is why I was a little bit astonished at New World and the devs and the really the players complaining about the grind that it is and how hard it is to level up. And I guess me just being biased coming from old school RuneScape and already having like that really, really tough grind um, didn't bother me, I guess you could say. And I was expecting it to be somewhat the same. And this has been, this has been great for me so far. So that's really the XP game progression. So I personally, I can't say I prefer New World. I can't say I prefer Old School RuneScape regarding the XP progression because realistically the the progression on both ends has their pros and has their cons. So yes, I love the XP progression within um, New World because it's easier. And I know it's going to get harder down the line, which is going to be good. Um, so I'm, I'm waiting for that. Um, but also I like the progression system in Old School RuneScape because it keeps you playing longer and you really do feel like you accomplished the goal that you've been working for for a long time, as odd as that sounds. So that's that's my take on it. But on to the, to the next piece, right? And I know this is fairly going to be a fairly long video um, where we're hitting around 30 minutes. So I'll try to get through it quickly for you guys. But the community, I kind of intertwine this all together. The community, the economy, the navigation, the navigation, excuse me, between both games. So there's, and, that, and that's a lot, right? That's, that's a mouthful. And I'm not really going to go crazy, crazy again, like I said, in depth, um, only because um, realistically, it's a, it's a lot. I could spend really a whole separate video on that. So this is really just the bare minimums that I'm going over with you between both games. And especially with Old School RuneScape because, you know, there's so much to do with Old School RuneScape that um, I can't really go too in-depth with it because I'll be missing so much regarding it. But um, let's talk about the navigation. And as you can see, right, it's a lot of walking, as you guys have been watching me, a lot of walking around regarding uh, New World. And that's what it is. There's no mounts. There's no there's no rides. There's no horses. There's, there's nothing, right? Everything is walking around. I can pull up the map itself right now, and this is the whole entire map itself. Now, I know the good thing about it is that mounts are coming soon down the future, down the down the, for one of the updates down the line for the roadmap in 2023, which I'm waiting for the announcement. So when they actually confirm that, so hopefully we get some news coming up on that soon. Do I think it's necessary? Absolutely not. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for saying that, especially the New World community, because they're dying for mounts. But like I said, I come from old school RuneScape where everything that you do is literally running around or teleporting um, into different areas. And the map is like, you see this map here? Picture like maybe six or five more of these put together. That's how big the old school RuneScape map is. That being said, right? Obviously, old school RuneScape, like I told you, has been around for so much more longer either way. Um, so let's go ahead and learn these skills, obviously real quick as I just got them and perfect. Um, so this is an interesting shield, looks cool. Let's see, nothing too impressive here. So we're just gonna go ahead and salvage these for parts, repair parts, because obviously I need some more repair parts, so we'll take them. And these are all tier two items, so obviously not something that I'm going to be using. And we'll salvage, salvage that. Yep, perfect. So <clears throat> let's talk about navigation. So obviously this doesn't bother me. I'm walking around, running around. Obviously the New World community is like really, really dying for like mounts to get around the, the areas quicker. But also New World, travel to the campsite near the Iron Rose. Okay, perfect. New World actually has, um, what is it saying here? Craft, make a camp. To set a respawn point near the Iron Rose Garrison. Okay. So. Set camp recall point. Point activated. Skin. Craft. Um, this isn't working. Oh, so I don't have anything. Okay. Alright, so I set the campsite and I don't know. Ok, 
Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Now we're building it. So let's build this campsite uh, right there. Perfect. Mm, excellent. Oh, so I need green, green wood and a flint. So that's the issue here. So let's go ahead and chop down a tree. We'll get some green wood in me right now. And then I need to find a rock actually to get some flint. So we got the green wood now. And now I need some flint. So right here. Perfect. 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 Excellent. So let's go ahead and make this. But regardless, back to the topic at hand. Um, navigation, right? You have ultimately... Um, perfect. Excellent. And search the Rose Garrison, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and search it. You have these shrines. And as you can see here, this is the fast teleporting that you guys saw me do earlier within the actual video itself. And it's these these shrines here. And we also have inns in certain set and every single settlement that you can check in. You can hit recall to inn and it'll fast travel you to the settlement as well, which is primarily typically like the main middle of the actual territory. But you see here fast travel areas are all shrines. Um, the ones in gold are the ones that I have. The ones in silver are the ones that ultimately you have to run to yourself to actually utilize them. So you like technically unlock these shrines. Old school RuneScape navigation wise, everything's running around, but there's so many more different kind of tools that you can use to really just teleport, right? Um, and I know a new world itself, which I haven't done yet, is you can buy your game. So I'm guessing obvious, uh, buy your house, I'm sorry. So I'm guessing ultimately at that point, obviously you can go ahead and teleport to your house too, wherever your house is located. Um, but um, you have the same kind of aspect in old school RuneScape. So you can use your house, you can build your house, you can have your teleports in your house as well. So that's something as well. Um, but old school RuneScape, you have so much more. Look at this guy, huh? So in old school RuneScape, you have so many more tools and so many more resources to get around, such as amulets that have quick teleports. You have rings that have quick teleports. So it's not like a shrine base. Um, you have tablets that you can just buy at, let's say like at the trading post over in old school RuneScape to call it the grand exchange. And you can just simply just click on the tablet and it'll teleport you to a certain area on the map. So really, I mean, yeah, you can run somewhere if you need to. And there are some areas that like require you there to run. But there's always going to be a tablet. There's always going to be a teleport that at least gets you like meters away. And you don't actually have to necessarily, you know, run minutes on end to get to a certain spot. So there's there's that as well. Ooh, let's see if I can, you know... Let's get that going. Bam. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Bam. Ooh. Okay. Yep. There we go. Kill this guy too. Thank you for shopping. Come again. So there's that. So that's that's really the, the big thing regarding navigation. Um, you know, mounts are coming soon to New World. It's going to be obviously like a game changer. But obviously that's not here yet. And regardless, you know. It's not something I want to say I prefer. Regardless, I do like running around. It makes me actually skill on the way. It makes me explore the actual territory itself at hand. I uh, don't know why I did that. So, you know, they each have their pros and cons. I do prefer, um, honestly, I like, I like fast traveling a lot. But I do like the aspect of New World letting me to, you know, if I want to, just run. Don't even use a fast travel like a shrine. And I can go ahead and actually ultimately skill on the way there. Which takes much longer, but at least I'm working on skills too on the way. Um, the economy, the community, right? And both games are absolutely phenomenal. They're both great, right? People are constantly helping each other out. They're trading, right? The trading post within New World is is really good. The only problem is, right, cross servers is, is a big issue here in New World, which I know they're currently working on. Um, so obviously I'm in US East, so everything that I'm gonna be able to see, buy, sell is going to be located in US East. Um, when obviously there's US West, you know, there's different areas within like the different kind of servers um, that I won't have access to. Unlike the Grand Exchange, right? Um, really, everything is located within the Grand Exchange, and whatever anyone's selling whatsoever is going to be there for you to buy ultimately. Um, if you're going to buy anything, you can go ahead and buy it there right away as well. So, really, that's uh, like the purchasing kind of system, the economy, I guess always up and down and obviously i've already seen that within new world as well within the trading post with the economy fluctuating up and down especially with the brimstone sands update now certain things for example like same uh, sandpaper is obviously much more valuable at this point than it was previously 
Um, whereas old school RuneScape, maybe, you know, there's the new Tomb Raids update that came out. I may be pronouncing that wrong or saying it wrong. I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. Um, where certain items and, you know, are going to be more beneficial for you at that point. Now, right, both games are huge. Both games are massive. I guess personally at the end of the day, I would say old school RuneScape has a lot more to offer. Um, and New World is just coming to its own as of more recently. But um, also the end game, right? So now we're on to like the very last portion. The end game itself regarding New World as well as old school RuneScape. It's just the fact old school RuneScape's end game is, is there. Completely, completely there. Much more there than New World. And the reason why I say that is because... Oh, guys, I'm... I'm yeah, I'm stuck over here. I don't even feel like fighting right now. And the reason why I say that is ultimately because it's true, right? Old School RuneScape has been there for a long, long time. Um, okay, so this is what I'm talking about, right? We have to travel 991 meters. Oh, so it's three, there's one for 319 meters, so that's not bad. Um, and I was going to use a fast travel to demonstrate for you guys if you guys missed it the first time. But... That being said, right, um, the end game is obviously there for old school RuneScape. A lot more to do, a lot more bosses, a lot more raids, a lot more farming, um, dungeons, right, to group with your clan itself. And I know with the Brimstone Sands update, that really significantly helped New World as a whole as well, which is awesome. But ultimately, you know, um, there's still a lot of work to be done. And I can't really comment too much on New World's end game. Obviously, I'm not there myself. So I don't really want to go on about it or really necessarily talk about it. And I'm not even in the end game necessarily. I'm still mid to end game in old school RuneScape. Um, I haven't really touched any kind of like the end game kind of stuff necessarily. But I know of it where I feel comfortable talking about it regardless. But that's my video guys. And I guess what um, everyone's thinking right. Especially according to my title. Oh so here we go. So obviously I can use my shrine and then you guys will see what the tra fast travel is like to get to the next area for the actual quest itself um i can't actually find the next area is it because it's all done see so it's about what 675 meters so i'll be located in green and actually i can just travel fast travel here i can recall to in which is a 30 minute refresh rate or I can just use a fast travel. So I'm not going to use my recall to in because my recall to in I can use if I'm not located at a shrine. And I don't want to waste it if I'm not located next to a shrine. And I have to wait 30 minutes. <clears throat> so the title. Did I quit old school RuneScape? Absolutely not. It's funny because in the Discord of the old school RuneScape clan, um, a certain individual, AK, my brother, the, the owner of the clan itself, he was like, he was like, wow, quitter. And then because I let them know, you know, I'm taking some time away from old school RuneScape. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm not going to be quitting. You know, I'm very still much involved with it. Obviously not right now because, you know, I'm fully invested into New World as a whole. Wow. So there's a lot of people here. My frame rates are dropping like crazy. Um, but, you know, still fully invested. In it. I'm still, you know, I'm really fully invested into New World right now. And I'll be switching between old school RuneScape. Who knows? You know, follow Twitch at the cash underscore critic. And I'll be maybe streaming Old School RuneScape come this weekend. So who knows? And maybe I'll make a video about it as well. So just keep an eye out for that. But that being said, it's your boy, The Cash Critic. As always, subscribe. Drop a like for the algorithm of YouTube, right? Support your boy. Like I said, I'm, I'm just having fun with this. We're having a grand old time. I'm doing this um, for me, obviously, because I really love and enjoy doing these kind of videos. And just enjoy talking about the games. But I'm also doing it for you guys. Just to bring awareness and have something for you guys to be entertained about as well. So have a great night everyone. I hope everyone has a fantastic day the next day as well. And we'll be obviously pushing out more videos very very soon. So it's your boy the Cash Critic. Hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit the comments below. Drop your thoughts and the opinions on the video as well. I know this is a very very lengthy one. So uh, you know. Have a good one and enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, peace out, my friends.